Hello guys, welcome to my channel and this is Dipensha and I'm once again uh, with you again with another uh, new tutorial on hydrodynamic modeling and uh, in my one of my previous videos I have shown you how to set up hydrological model uh, in mic uh, which is popularly known as the NAM model uh, this uh, one you can check out this hydrological model setup uh, going to my channel uh, name Rainman okay let's get started how to uh, do set up a hydrodynamic model in mic First of all, what you have to do, you have to open a folder named hydrodynamic model or uh, the model that you are going to um, create. You, you can name any name. Uh, so for simplicity, let's uh, say it is the name hydrodynamic. This one, this is one, this is the folder where all the uh, set of files will be arranged uh, in a uh, proper way. So this is my first folder hydrodynamic and under this hydrodynamic folder you have to open five folders not necessarily you have to open five folders but if you arrange like these folders uh, it will be uh, easy to operate the model first of all is the boundaries and uh, then is the parameters the network file then result file where the output will be saved in this folder and uh, the simulation file and the cross section file so let's open the simulation file this is my mic11 simulation file at first what you have to do you have to check mark on hydrodynamic and simulation mode give it to you unsteady condition basically for your and input in input files you have to show the path of your network here suppose my network is this one automatically it will go to your um, folder once you show the file path correctly okay I set my network file in a river you have a cross section file so cross section file the extension of cross section file is xns11 file you show the cross section file here and you show the boundary file here which is called BND11 one, 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 one means um, one dimensional and one layer that's why it is called 1-1 one, one. as it is one, hydro, one dimensional model so and one layer model one layer, one layer model means um, depth wise you will get only one value that is average value so this is uh, one layer model or one directional model that's why it is called one one HD parameter file and you have to provide a HD parameter file here uh, you can remember that uh, we have provided uh, RR parameter file when we 
run uh, the ideological model. Similarly, we have to provide a HD parameter file here for 1 1 modeling. I will show you the HD parameter file. It's a huge file. Huge works you have to do here actually. Basically, the initial condition and initial conditions for every uh, channel in your modeling you have to provide i will uh, make a separate video on the hd parameter file how will you prepare for a one d hydrodynamic model uh, i will show you in a separate video i'm not going deep into it but you have to oh you have to show you the path of HD parameter right here and the hydrological model result that you got from the simulation of hydrological model this result file you have to show here your hydrological model result which is rainfall runoff model result and this is the simulation and you have to set the fixed time step uh, or you can set the time step 1 to usually 10 minutes uh, when you provide very small uh, time steps say 1 minute if your model run without any uh, generating any error then it will also work in higher time step like 5 minutes 10 minutes and you have to provide the period of your simulation here and show the HD parameter file here if you provide if you uh, click apply default your simulation start date and simulation end date will be fixed automatically based on your boundary file then where you want to save your result file you have to name your result file and show the in your exact uh, desired location that you have created a folder in hydrodynamic model folder storing frequency what will be your the storing frequency data storing frequency I have um, given here 30 unit time step that means see my time step is 1 minute and the storing frequency I have given 30, 30. so if my time step is 1 minute my storing frequency is 30 then uh, after 30 minute it will save the data in your computer the, in, in your output now if you see the green sign in run parameters and HD parameters that means your setting is all okay then you can simulate the model And I have separate videos on how to make cross-section file, how to make network file. So you can check out uh, my those videos and uh, incorporate in simulation file or sim file uh, those network file and uh, cross-section file here. You can run the model. If you click on the mic one one classic then your 1D hydrodynamic model will start simulating. Okay, let's start. I've just started. See, it's, it has been started. 
a lot of warning will come but warning don't worry about warning if error is come then you have a problem in your set in your model or setup I got an error external boundary defined in dummy channel 1 okay if you uh, maybe in my dummy channel 1 there is uh, no external I have defined the external boundary which was not required that's why this error has appeared you, you can we can uh, solve this manually and then can again run anyways this how uh, this is how you can set up the one hydronic model so thank you thanks for watching and uh, I I will pro I will uh, uh, prepare another video on HD parameter file and uh, till then keep well and keep watching my channel and share with your friends if you find it useful and please subscribe thank you your subscription means a lot to me thanks.